What is up everybody? This is Michael File Sage checking in here today. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Thought I'd make a short video today for you guys. Uh, recently, I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys about when you should case your truffles, uh, your truffle producer, you know, sclerotia producers. And, um, and also just in general about casing and what kind of surface conditions they like and that kind of thing. So in this video, I wanna go over a few examples of how you can go about it. Now, certain species basically require you to case it as soon as they're, it's pretty much colonized, right? As soon as the top is mostly colonized, you case it. And there's different strategies, of course. There, you know, some people case immediately before even the mycelium is showing up, basically when you spawn it to bulk, whereas other people will say, oh, you should uh, do it as soon as, or maybe like 70% colonized, 80% colonized, and up kind of thing. I think, you know, it really depends on what kind of a uh, yeah. setup you have and um, also depends on the technique. You know, there's a lot of factors. So I'm just going to be talking about grass lovers for this one. If you guys have been watching my channel for any length of time now over the last few months, then you will know that I have a lot of videos about truffle producers, sclerotia producers, right? And in a couple of them, I tell you guys that basically you can case them or you don't have to case them. If you just want truffles, you don't case them. And so this one is one tub that I did not case. And as you can see, there are just a ton of truffles showing up. This is a 215 spawn, so about a month old. And we have lots and lots of truffles coming up. Literally, right? So uh, with these guys, I actually intended to case them. I'm not going for truffles. I got tons, um, but I ran out of casing layer. Uh, so now I do have casing layer, but because I've had it going on for so long, I've decided not to case it. I'm just going to let it uh, produce truffles for maybe another month, and then I'm going to harvest it. And after I harvest the truffles once, then I'm going to put it back in the, in the shoe box, and then I'm going to case it once it's colonized so that I, I'll try for fruits afterwards. To show you guys sort of an example of, you know, a kind of strategy you can also take. Uh, or you don't even have to case it after you harvest it and you could put it back in your tub and let it produce the second flush of truffles, if you will. And then you could harvest that after a month or two. So you could also keep these going for like six months also, you know? Uh, I, I only missed it this guy once. Well, if you're going for truffles, you don't need to go for, you know, you don't need to have like good fruiting conditions because you're not trying to fruit. You're trying to actually create sort of crappy conditions to sort of encourage them to produce some nice tasty truffles. And as you can see, there's metabolites popping up, which is completely normal for truffles, right? And uh, yeah, pretty good uh, surface conditions. People also asked me, um, recently about what these like white fluffy stuff is because they're getting it in their truffle jars and stuff and for the most part it's it's just mycelium uh, it's not mold it's just mycelium sometimes they express themselves this way with the truffle producers i see it often with bulk rather than in jars but i've also seen it in jars as well so not to worry about that so yeah i'm not going to be casing this guy now on the other hand i have i had to move this over here but on the other hand i have um, two tubs right now that were spawned on the 5th, the 5th of March. So, so just exactly a week ago. And I was just about to case this before I made this video, I decided to make it. But these are also Florida grass lovers, like the one I showed you right now. And as you can see, because they're still young, they don't have really truffles coming up, right? Uncased, this is how they look. Although, although over there, there's definitely a truffle coming up there. They're starting to rip apart the substrate on the bottom there you can see the crack right and you can see some metabolites coming so yeah i'm gonna case these guys today because i want to go for truffles and here's another one this one seems to have a little bit more truffle action coming because you can see how uneven it is um the, the the substrate is right it's kind of bumpy these guys are pretty even when I spawned them. It's because of the truffles and you can see they're starting to crack the substrate as well. So I'm gonna, yeah, you could actually see a truffle popping up already over there. A couple of them, there's like three or four of them. Yeah, there's there's like three of them right now in that little corner. So uh, yeah, there's lots of truffles already coming up. You know, it doesn't take long for them to produce truffles. Uh, but if I recall correctly, these guys though, when I spawn them, they already have truffles in the jar and I didn't harvest the truffles. So that's another thing you can do. You could spawn a jar like full of truffles 
you know, I, I left them around for like a month and a half, I think. And then you could spawn it to bulk. And then your those truffles are gonna get bigger, right? Uh, or you could also just harvest the truffles and then spawn it to bulk. Some people do that. I prefer to spawn it to bulk because those truffles are gonna get way bigger once you spawn it to bulk. The yield is night and day difference, guys, just spawning it to a bunch of core. I know I've said it a, a lot of times. I'm just saying this again for people who may have not missed it or who are new to the channel. I got, a, I got like a truffle play, uh, playlist. You could check out if you're interested in uh, learning about truffles. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, so I'm gonna case these guys. Now on the other hand, I've also got, I thought I'll also show you guys some Mexican grass lovers that I'm going to case today as well. So let me just rearrange everything here. Here we are, so we got some Mexican grass lovers. These were spawned on the 4th. So that is eight days ago. So these guys are fully colonized as well, as you can see colonized but they don't have many truffles and that's uh, normal for these guys they don't produce nearly as much they're not nearly as aggressive as florida grass lovers but these guys they are a lot less aggressive than florida grass lovers uh they're a little harder they're quite a bit harder to prove to be honest uh so hopefully we can get some fruits with these guys i've gotten a bunch of fruits but they just they just don't drop spores <laughs> so i'm trying to get some spores to drop so i can keep fruiting these guys but here's the other one so yeah, as you can see, they are a lot less colonized, you know, compared to this. Even though I spawned these guys earlier than the Florida grass lovers here, look at how aggressively colonized it is. These guys, the Florida grass lovers are also a lot easier to fruit than the Mexican grass lovers. Uh, they also produce a lot more truffles, right? But in my opinion, I personally prefer the Mexican grass lovers in terms of uh, the taste. So now guys, from this point in the video, I'm going to go over my casing method and I'm going to show you guys how I also missed my casing as well. Basically how wet I want my casing to be with these grass loving species. Let's get to it. All right guys, so I have started adding the casing to the Mexican grass lover tubs. And I like to put the casing material, in this case Jiffy Mix, inside a little, uh, little bowl like this so that rather than go straight from the jar into here because this way I can sort of sift through, uh, take out the sticks and sort of uh, make sure that everything is nice and smooth when I drop it on, no clumps basically. So that's just a little bit of advice there. And here when I'm adding the casing, as you can see the surface of the non-case, the substrate right, right like here is fairly dry and that's because I didn't miss this at all since spawning, to, spawning it to bulk um because there's no reason to i want to actually make them sort of uncomfortable i don't want them to be comfortable in this state i want them to be comfortable after i put the casing because that will promote fruiting right uh which is sort of what happens in nature they're sort of uncomfortable for a bit maybe they get dried out a little bit they start producing sclerotia lets them know that okay these aren't fruiting conditions so the next time the fruiting conditions come then they're more likely to fruit you know, they'll be happier to fruit, basically. So that's sort of what I'm trying to do here. Um, and also, I don't mist the substrate before adding the casing layer on top. That's because I want them to be comfortable with the casing layer rather than comfortable in between the casing layer. What I'm trying to do here is essentially make the mycelium sort of move towards the casing and move towards fruiting uh, rather than be comfortable in between the casing. So once I put all the casing on here, I'll tell you guys how I like to smoothen things out. All right guys, so I have basically sort of sprinkled a good amount of casing layer on the top, as you can see here, and all from the side. That's sort of how it looks like. So now at this point, um, as you can see, it's not all covered and that's on purpose because from here on out, I'm just gonna sort of, sort of try to cover things up gently. You don't wanna push it too much. You just wanna gently put on the casing here. And you know you could you should also break up the little clumps because there's still there still might be some clumps, especially if your casing layer is still fresh. Yeah. And for those of you who still don't really know what a casing layer is, um, or the difference between a casing layer and a top layer, I go over that. It's not just a core layer, guys. I know a lot of people like to um, refer to that as a casing. It's not a true casing. Uh, so I have a I have a video on casing layers, so I'll put it in the description if you guys want to see. Anyway, so I'm going to go through this whole thing and I'll get back to you once I'm done. Alright guys, so I have basically smoothened things out a little bit. 
put everything all uh, as level as I can with the amount that I put in there. So as you can see, there's still a bit of mycelium poking up here and there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna loosely sort of cover it up a little bit or just put a little bit of um, casing around it. And what I'm gonna do is once I put a bunch of casing in these areas, then I'm gonna sort of, you know, cover it up. So um, basically once you do this, uh, I've already sort of patted it down a little. You don't wanna put too much power in there. You just wanna go like, you know, just to gently, gently pat it down, very gently. Just wanna have, make it level is essentially what you're trying to do rather than really think of like patting it down. It's just, you're trying to get it level. And here is the side view. Now really with casings, I just put it basically to cover the mycelium. That's generally enough. But if I were to put a number to it, a quarter inch is a good amount. I wouldn't go thicker than that. Okay, so I'm gonna just uh, cover up the rest and I'll show you guys how you should mist it. All right, so I have basically covered up most of the mycelium here. As you can see, there's a piece of stick there. So if you can, take it off. You know, if you got pieces of stick like this, and just throw it off to the side. So yeah, guys, it's basically on here, all good. So take your water, just take your mister, and then just spray the crap out of it. Grass lovers absolutely love water. Not like core lovers. See how directly I'm missing it? And you wouldn't do that with without a casing, but because I got a casing, I will do that. And with grass lovers especially, because they like things to be really, really wet compared to core lovers. So I'm gonna be back once I finish doing this because I'm gonna use two hands here. All right, guys, so I finished missing it. And now if you were the mycelium and you were drying out, right? you were in survival mode, you were in conservative mode, then all of a sudden you get all of this wet mud on top of you, right? And it's like, wow, now's the time to fruit. So uh, at least that's the idea uh, by simulating it, simulating sort of the natural cycle, I suppose you could say. Um, now I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna leave it for a couple of days until the mycelium starts popping up. Uh, I wouldn't recommend opening it if you want to take a look, look take a peek from the side um, just to sort of um, maintain some of the carbon dioxide to help the mycelium colonize through. So yeah, guys, that's basically it. So now I'm just going to close it. Write down the date of the casing, which I'm going to do after I finish this video. And I'll just put it on my rack and let it do its thing. So uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all, guys. So I'm gonna do it with the rest of the tubs and uh, I got three more tubs so I got my work cut out for me here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys have a great day or night. Michael File Sage, checking out.